Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for a brand new season of Alliance War, season 34, with a brand new a defense tactic, Mystic Dispersion, I think it's called. Um, it's like missing, um, which you guys are going to see. But I'm going to be bringing in Kitty Pride, Doctor Doom, and Tigra, of course. We're going to be going down path five here, through and through. So we got Korg up first, then we have a Nova. We can go Kitty, Doom, Kitty again for this long shot. He is a Mystic uh, Tag Champ for the for the global uh and then just that killmonger and rhino in section two because i was celebrating my sister's birthday um on the day this war was going on so i asked Lazar, i'm like hey like you know if i could just do section two on my own time that'd be great uh plus we're watching the hockey game <laughs> which the oilers beat the flames the battle of alberta was won um which is awesome man it's wonderful this uh first two periods of that game were insane uh but uh, okay up first here we have korg so man normally like i destroy korg especially with kitty but this fight went horribly so that 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 intercept you know that first intercept i went for didn't work out tagged me a couple times i ended up taking a couple hits as well um from his rock hard thorns because i was having trouble building up my initial prowess uh but now that we're at a good amount of prowess we're fine i i did have to knock him down there and that took more orange damage because it was a, a heavy attack but uh, yeah throw the special two there and we get back a ton of power but my crit rate man is just like non-existent i, I think korg has a lot of base uh critical resistance so um it's difficult to build prowess from that way alone especially when you're not phasing because kitty's crit rate is just average but when you're phasing it's extremely increased but when you're not phasing and you're trying to you know get enough powers to be able to phase like against a korg here we're not going to be critting much so to build that prowess we have to you know intercept or parry stun to get prowess through those ways uh but yeah throw the special through here <laughs> does not kill him um he hits into my miss a bit here he's still not dead um he still has he's going unstoppable unblockable he's throwing unblockable specials I'm evading them though. I'm taking more of his thorns damage and go for an intercept here and it does not work. This fight was just brutal, man. Just absolutely brutal, but uh, we're I'm pretty good at evading Korg's special one at the very least. Uh, here I just throw my special one well phased and uh, it's enough to take him down, but we took some damage, which is uh, it's fine. Um, although compensation has ended I, I have one package left that i haven't claimed yet so i'm gonna go ahead and still use a level five potion but once the compensation once i'm totally out and like my stash is my stash i'm probably gonna save those level five potions for like when i really need them um but uh yeah it's still use them for now but next up here we have a nova which is such an easy fight um, with special Dr. Doom. So right there, I went for an intercept. He auto-blocked. Right there, that's uh, something you can do against this node, heavy hitter. So when they throw a heavy, they go passively unstoppable. But if you time it just right, once their heavy animation wears off, they typically dash at you. So I just intercepted him after that happened. Got him. Go to my special three here. He's been knocked down. Um, th this fight's over. This fight is essentially over. We we have him in the Doom Cycle now. We have him right where we want him. Hit him with that massive special three. Gonna get to our special one, and then to our special two, and then he is dead. So just Doom Cycle into Oblivion, and this dude is dead. Another that fight was a quick and clean one, unlike the first fight. Uh, but next up we have Long Shot. So on my notes, basically like when you know we get assigned fights and stuff we have like notes and stuff um like sometimes it's tips for the fight or you know stuff to remember and so liza wrote on my note here to maybe take off dexterity um because that has to do with the global when a buff expires or is removed off the attacker mystic dispersion champions get the uh get like a, a falter so you can well i don't know exactly what it's called but basically if you hit into them you're gonna miss right but I was just like, you know, I really don't feel like taking decks off, so I just won't dex. I, I, I'll just play like that, you know? So with Kitty, with most champions, that's that's a tall order. But with Kitty Pride, it's really not that difficult because, like, 
when do you like absolutely have to dex like maybe a special attack or something okay i'll just phase into it with kitty like it's you know it's no big deal so here drop my special two push him to a special three when i get to another special two drop another special two and he's dead so i don't think i dexed once in that fight so it didn't have to worry about the global and uh, yeah there we go that's section one complete it's gonna go ahead and move up a bit use some energy for the squad and I just wanted to show you guys real quick what my stash is looking like right now because I, I used a couple of vulnerability boosts already this war, but like they're going to expire if I don't. So yeah, I also have a lot of boosts and overflow. So like <clears throat> I really don't mind like double boosting. So here I'm, I just boost up again. So this is after I had gotten home from uh, celebrating my sister's birthday and I uh, got Killmonger and Rhino and uh, it, it was actually good timing. Like the rest of my battle group is actually doing a mini island but i i didn't have any fights there so it didn't really matter but it was just cool kind of doing it at the same time as them still uh but yeah kill longer here so i started the fight with a light attack which can be a little bit risky because you can get parry doing that but um the reason for doing that was i was just trying to trigger his rever reverberation rate to start when he has zero power so that it's like a zero functioning reverberation it basically doesn't do anything um but uh yeah get my get enough prowess to start phasing now we're good to go uh doesn't matter if we trigger reverberation now i'll just only hit him when i'm phasing and as long as i do that i'm basically like namor and just totally immune to damage so uh just keep on intercepting this guy i'm trying to decide like hmm, should i go for special two should i go for special three um i don't know i was, I was having a tough time deciding but then he threw his special here and the, the fury wore off so i have to intercept again I'm like all right i guess we're just going special three it's fine doesn't really matter um i did throw on a mutant boost so using this should get me like pretty close to like one bar of power so my plan is to just let him hit into me a bit then throw that special one so i didn't quite get enough for special one so i had to do a couple hits but it's fine then we throw a special and he's dead so very clean killmonger fight and then we just have a rhino left so rhino was a pretty good defender with the last global but with this new global ah I don't know. I mean, it, it takes away a lot of the risk from fighting Rhino because Rhino, without the, the last season global base, typically he had a chance whenever he gained an armor up buff to go passively unstoppable, and the the global gave him armor. Um, so like that was kind of scary. Like you don't want to hit into an unstoppable Rhino, you know, and it's, he can go unstoppable when he's not just dashing. But if he only goes unstoppable when dashing easy you know it's, it's fine it's totally fine and with kitty we can intercept him so right there boom we get that intercept and then just into my special two immediately does some great damage uh doesn't quite kill him though but that is fine we are unblockable um so i'm just gonna throw another special two unfortunately the fury wears off um so I was, like i was trying to just kill him get the fight over with now i have 19 percent to deal with and his protection is back, which is kind of annoying. So I need to get off another intercept to get rid of that. But I like to build up like a, a few prowess before I really go for that. But I got back to my special two. And I'm like, this will probably kill him even with the protection active. And it did. So <laughs> there we go. That's my, uh, that's all my fights for this war. Really did not have much. Didn't, didn't contribute very much, but it's okay. Just doing my part and we didn't die. Now I was like, not paying attention at all to this war and i was reading online chat and it was super close uh coming down to the wire at the end of the war and so we ended up tying and just barely losing like by fight duration look at the fight 8593 is what we had they had 8541 dude are you are you kidding me what is that 52 seconds like wow that is the, i think this has got to be the closest war we've ever had like i've never seen the i've never seen it come down to fight duration and it be that close you know like wild so ggs to ppt uh both of us played very closely and and skill level i would say having a war come down this close so nothing but ggs to them and uh yeah hopefully we'll get some more action-packed wars in the future uh that's gonna do it for now just like to start off this season 34 with you guys know what i'm gonna be trying for this season try for it every season and i still haven't done it yet maybe this season will be it i don't know uh, maybe if you guys drop a like on this video it'll happen 
I don't know. But uh, that's going to do it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Alliance War content. I'm going to try to post every single war this season. And then war rewards at the end, of course. Uh, but yeah, if you guys would like to see more content, subscribe. We are for 100,000 by this summer. Appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me lately. Uh, it really helps keep me going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.